gentlemen don't prefer these kinds of women. Not to be picking on any particular modern women, but there are many of them out here who keep wrecking their own homes because their income exceeds the income of their husbands. We men hear it all the time. Modern women accuse men of being intimidated by their income, their careers, their degrees, etc. Why, ladies, why? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so we can keep this new channel growing. There was an interesting comment under a Facebook group post yesterday where women said they were tired of hearing men say we don't care about women's degrees or careers. But ladies, we really don't. <laughs> and this video from the Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews channel on YouTube perfectly proves why this is the case anyone a piece of advice for divorce it would be to not do it under normal circumstances if your spouse is beating you or threatening you or your children then of course get out and fast in my case there was no abuse we were together hmm. for eight years that was mostly good and we have four kids right around five years i got a promotion at work and i got it in my head that my ex-husband was dragging me down or at least holding me back from more success. <laughs> Shout out to feminism. You have struck again, all right? If it was truly about equality, then her getting a promotion while the guy doesn't shouldn't bother her one bit, but let's keep going. And a better life. We never had a lot of money, but with my promotion, I was now making more than he was. I started working longer hours, and at the same time, his hours were cut. So he was at home more. I really began to resent him because he was home and because he got to spend time with our kids. Most nights when I got home, they were already getting ready for bed, if not already sleeping. After a few months of my new job, it was clear to me that things were not going well at home without me there. Some nights the dishes weren't done when I got home or the kids hadn't eaten or whatever else I could think of to be mad at him about. It really didn't matter. He kept saying that he would try harder, but that it was hard being home all the time. That always made me really mad. For the next couple years, things kept getting worse. My hours weren't any shorter and his were on and off full time. There was no convenient time for him to be working full time because of my hours, but we also needed the money. Whenever he would tell me that he could get extra hours, I would always complain. And the less hours he worked, the more I complained. That the hell? Bringing in enough money. When I she started off this whole thing talking about that there wasn't abuse. In this case, the career wife who ended up divorcing her husband explains her behavior and thought process that led up to that fateful decision to divorce him. For the first eight years, yes, eight doggone years, the marriage and family were happy. It was happy times. Things were great. They both worked, had children, and neither one had a negative thought about the other. But guess what happened? If you watched our videos on the spirit of Eve and the spirit of Jezebel in the past we did, these two spirits often come up when women's egos get inflated by a career promotion and raise or achievement of a college degree. They end up wanting more, whatever more means. This wife got a promotion at work that led to a very nice increase in her income. In fact, she was making way more than her husband now. But did he complain? Nope. In fact, not long after that, his job unfortunately ran into some downsizing of his hours. So now he made even less than before, but he was there to take care of their children while she worked her new job title. If the roles were reversed, we know what happens. The husband would not have batted an eye nor would he have blamed his wife that he worked longer hours while she had more time with the children because we men expect that, right? 
But what did this wife do? She got mad at him, started to hate him, and long story short, crafted ways to sabotage the marriage by starting an affair, yes an affair, with somebody at work because she needed more, whatever the hell more means, aka the spirit of Eve, remember where Eve felt she needed more from life and found it by eating of the forbidden tree. So this wife plotted adultery at work, at work while at the same time starting arguments, these needless, unnecessary arguments with her husband. And that's the spirit of Jezebel. Recall that Jezebel hated her husband Ahab, who was the king of Israel. When women depart from their natural order with respect to the family, this usually happens to them mentally and spiritually. You can't help it. You can't fight the nature if you don't want to. No matter how you slice it, ladies, if you want a career and you know you have this tendency, this ego tendency in you, then either stay single or if married, just divorce him and find your way to the corporate streets. <laughs> I'm not playing. Spare that good man this kind of hell hath no fury displeasure and this faithful husband had to endure. Love is supposed to be unconditional through better and for worse. But when you mix in a career modern wife, all that goes out the window. Fortunately, this modern career woman who wrecked her own happy marriage and family regretted her actions and wishes she had never gone down this ugly path. We urge other modern women to do likewise. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so we can keep this new channel growing. Until modern women stop getting mad when their income exceeds that of their husbands, the apocalypse of good men will continue. Welcome to the Brother Apocalypse.